corn, hay, and soybeans, the top three legal farm products. Let's bring in Rob Campia. He's the founder and executive director of the Marijuana Policy Project. And Rob, I do have to let our people know that you were quoted in the press release from the researcher. So people listening to this might think, well, why should I believe these numbers, considering that that organization and yours have a clear point of view on promoting marijuana policy reform? Well, all the numbers in the report actually come from the DEA and the State Department. So only government figures were actually used to reach the conclusion that marijuana is the biggest cash crop in the U.S. Uh, you said $35 billion a year. That's correct. It's greater than uh, the uh, sales for the corn and wheat combined, which shows us that the government's perpetual war on marijuana has completely failed, and it's time for a new approach. What is your suggestion of the new approach, then? I think it's time, well, to take a step back, 100% uh, of the proceeds right now from all marijuana sales are going to criminals. Uh, we've found that the government can't actually stop this from happening. So what we propose is to take marijuana out of the criminal market, tax it and regulate it, similarly to alcohol, put an age limit on it, let's say 21, and then uh, we'll have a, a number of legitimate businesses that are making the profits instead of drug dealers, and the tax revenues could be used for schools, roads, a tax cut, what have you. But as you know, a lot of people say we already have enormous problems with alcohol in terms of health, in terms of people who drive drunk, in terms of addiction. Why create another legal addiction for people? Well, the premise of that statement is that marijuana is not already prevalent in our society. In fact, anyone who wants to use marijuana currently is. A hundred million Americans have actually used marijuana at least once. And so what we're saying is, let's take it out of the criminal market, right. tax it, and regulate it. Rob Campia, thanks for sticking around. Yep, thank you. We do appreciate you.